Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at setting up ham clock so it runs inside of a window on your desktop. Stick around and we'll get right to it. A big shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So after the last video that I did on uh, installing ham clock, that video was based on using a Raspberry Pi as a dedicated device just to run ham clock. And you really couldn't do very much else with it. Uh, and that works fine for a lot of people, but a lot of guys emailed me wanting to know how to put this in a windowed environment on your desktop. And I've got to give credit to Jay, one of my patrons, for sending me over the directions to do this. I wasn't certain how to get it done, but Jay was kind enough to help us out. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see if we can get this thing installed. I'll go ahead and open up the terminal window. Now, before we get going on this, let's go ahead and install a few of the dependencies. That's, uh, I'll leave that link to that command down in the description below so you guys can copy and paste as well. Once we have the dependencies, let's clear the screen and then let's head over to the website once again. And again, I'll leave a link to this website uh, right on the screen or right down in the description below. But it's clearskyinstitute.com forward slash ham forward slash ham clock. Once we get to this page, let's uh, come over here and click on the desktop tab and let's scroll down to where we find uh, using it on a Raspberry Pi. So I'll go ahead and again, we're just gonna copy and paste some of these directions in the beginning. So I'll copy that first command and let's go ahead and paste that in. Give that just a couple of uh, seconds here to download. And if we list out that directory, you'll see that zip file. So let's go ahead and get that unzipped. So we'll run unzip space ESP hamclock.zip. Press return. And once that's finished up, let's just clear that screen. We'll list that out again. And you'll see that we have the ESP hamclock directory. So let's move into that directory with CD space ESP hamclock. Go ahead and press return. Now with this next command, we're going to deviate away from what the website tells us to do. Let's go ahead and run sudo space make space hyphen j space four space ham clock. And it'll take that a few minutes to build and I'll be right back with you guys as soon as it finishes up. Okay, now that that's finished up, the next command we want to run is sudo space chmod space plus s space ham clock and then we need to move this to the proper location and we'll do that with this command here that sudo space mv space ham clock space forward slash and i see a typo that i've got in there that should be forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash ham clock let's go ahead and press return to get that moved and the last command is going to create a shortcut on the desktop for us. And we do that with ln space hyphen s space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash ham clock space tilde forward slash desktop forward slash ham clock. Press return on that and you'll see that we now have a ham clock emblem on our desktop. So let's go ahead and get rid of the terminal window and let's use the new shortcut that we've created. We'll double click on that and choose execute. Now when it first opens, you're gonna have to be uh, fairly quick. You're gonna need to click into it to set it up. So once you click into it, here's your screen. We can go up to the call sign and go ahead and start putting in my information. Tell you what, this uh, keyboard always gives me a fit trying to figure out where the keys are. And I'm not sure why, it's a QWERTY keyboard. 
but uh, for some reason I have difficulties with it. Now I'm not going to take uh, the time to set everything up, but that's the call sign you would want to take care of your latitude and longitude right up here in the top right corner. And we can go ahead and click done. Now it'll take it a minute to get everything booted up and ready and you will soon see ham clock running in a window on your desktop. Now the one thing I haven't figured out, maybe somebody else can help me with this, uh, resizing the window does not resize ham clock. So this is uh, what we've got to work with uh, to the best of my knowledge. Now, there may be a way to resize this, but I'm not aware of it if it is. Other than that, this should function exactly like it does if you used an entire Raspberry Pi and dedicated it just to run ham clock. But it allows us to run it in a windowed, uh, a windowed environment so that we can run it in conjunction with other things. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up before you head off, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.